I started singing when I was very little. I, I heard from my mom that I learned to sing before I learned to speak. I sang karaoke just like many Filipinos. Uh, Filipinos love karaoke. I went to a, an art high school in the Philippines and that's where I started to take classical vocal training. But after that, I studied broadcast communication and information media and things like that. But then in the end, I, I ended up back in music, uh, studying at a conservatory in Belgium. The special thing about Philippine classical music for me, is this beautiful blend of Philippine folk melodies and Western musical elements. And I, I love that about it because I'm also very much an East and West <laughs> kind of person. Oh, Vienna. I love Vienna. City of music, uh, a lot of history. Uh, city of Mozart and Beethoven, <laughs> all these musical greats. It's, it's really an honor to be here. I'm, I'm so, yeah, so blessed. And here, it's like things just really flowed easily, effortlessly for me. In the past months, uh, we've met a lot of amazing people. So the meaning of the album title, Mahal Nalikha, in Tagalog means beloved creation or beloved work. Many of the songs in this album um, are what you would call a kundiman. The kundiman is a class of uh, love songs from the Philippines. When I picked them, I, I really listened within like what sparks joy or what, what, what makes me feel um, joyful. During the, the late 1800s, when the Filipino revolutionaries were fighting for freedom. You know, the Philippines at the time was a colony of Spain. They couldn't really express what, what was in their hearts, that they, they wanted to be free. And, and so the Kundiman became a vehicle of this love for, for one's country, for, for one's motherland. And now in our current society, now many of these boundaries are falling away, national boundaries and cultural boundaries, even religious boundaries. I hope that this album will awaken this, yeah, this feeling of connection to others. In the album, uh, most of the songs are in Tagalog, except one. In the Philippines, there are more than 100 languages. Yeah, it's a very culturally diverse country, also biodiverse. And I think diversity is a very positive thing. Um, I think this should be encouraged because this is the only way for us to move forward. I don't think that uh, like monoculture or <laughs> monocropping for agriculture is a good thing. Uh, but of course, it's also important to see the unity and diversity, to see what we have in common, and we have a lot in common. <laughs> <laughs>